So first question, what's going on in your head right now? Um, honestly, I'm so excited. I was like definitely very stressed during campaigning, um, but it was really cool to reach out to students and see um, the concerns that students brought up. And I look forward to doing that in the future. And so I'm really ready to just, you know, already starting to have conversations about next year and really working on that. So I'm really ready to start on the ground running with all of that work. And going off of that, um, what are you going to do first as ASI president? I mean, the first thing is definitely getting the executive cabinet set up and um, the chief of staff so that we are, you know, as a whole branch of student government, ready to address issues as much as possible. And then creating an action plan, reaching out to administrators and say specifically, like, these are the things I want to do this year. How do we start doing that so that right on day one we are they know what like our goals as student government are and that we're able to achieve those within the year great and what do you want to say to the students at cal poly um to students at cal poly i really just want to say thank you for um, electing me and allowing me to hold a position where i can advocate for students and empower the student voice and i really will take um I'm going to take this entire year and work my absolute hardest at making sure that everyone's voices are heard and that we're really working towards building a better Cal Poly that actually advocates for what all students' needs are. Great. And with the current COVID-19 situation, how will you take these concerns into consideration as the new president? I think some of the main things is just one playing it by ear we're gonna to have to see you know how the situation develops and what that means for our university as a whole but i think no matter what happens one of the main things is building a community so making sure that no matter where we're all at moving forward that we're still staying a mustang community and that we're still making sure we're inclusive to all students as well as making sure that we're providing students with adequate mental health resources. You know, students are going through a really tough time right now, and we need to make sure that we're stepping up and advocating for mental health services that will meet students wherever they're at. Um, and then also looking at our budget, making sure that we're allocating fees in the right ways so that we're not, you know, misusing fees during this pandemic. Great, thank you so much. And is there anything else you wanted to add about your experience campaigning or feelings you have now as the new president? Um, I think the main thing is just, I'm really excited to see where the next year takes all of us. And I look forward to working with all students um, so that we can be, as my campaign said, charging forward together. Um, I am very grateful for this opportunity and I will do my absolute best to make sure that all student voices are heard. Yeah.